Standing out in the music industry. If you're a songwriter, it's no secret that the music industry is one of the most competitive industries to win. But that doesn't mean it's not possible for you to win and for you to stand out. Even though the competition is saturated, it's still very possible for you to shine through. So let's dive in. If you don't know me, my name is Lizzy the Gifted. I've been doing music for 13 years. I'm an artist, producer, songwriter, and I currently teach other songwriters how to become their own producers through the Rapid Fire Music Academy. So the first point I wanna make is that saturation is actually a good thing. If you're in an industry and there's literally nobody else around in the industry, it usually means that there's no demand for that actual thing. And just because there's saturation, it doesn't mean that you can't collaborate with other people. It doesn't mean that those people are necessarily gonna stomp all over you. Now, I'm all for competition. I'm all for trying to you know, be better and get better. But just because there's tons of other people doing the same thing as you doesn't mean you can't do it better than they can. And the other thing too, to think about with music, think about this from your perspective. Do you only listen to one artist? You might have a favorite. You might have one or maybe two artists that you always go to and listen to, but they're not the only people you listen to. It's unrealistic to think that you would only listen to one person. It's unrealistic for you, for you to think your fans are gonna only listen to one person, one artist, or one band. So with that being said, just because the market is saturated doesn't mean, again, that you can't win. Here's another thing to think about. Right? This is actually a great example. So in music, let's use Drake as an example. Drake is one of, if not the biggest artist in the game, right? Every time Drake drops, he goes viral, he goes crazy. But that doesn't mean he's everyone's favorite artist. My, one of my best friends, his name is Gabe. His favorite artist is Smino and Saba. Now, if you look at Smino and Saba, they're both great artists, but they're not really the most popular artists in the game. But if you ask a guy like Gabe, Gabe's gonna be like, I don't really love Drake, I love Smino and Saba. So Smino and Saba, even from a business standpoint, they're gonna get my friend Gabe's dollars before Drake will. Right, if Gabe had to choose where he's gonna spend his money, he's gonna go spend it with Smino and Saba. He's not gonna spend it necessarily with Drake. So saturation in a market doesn't mean that it's a bad thing, and it doesn't mean you can't carve out your space and still win and live the life of your dreams. Now, the next point is what makes certain artists stand out above other artists. To be honest with you, there's a lot that needs to be done behind the scenes that you might not even be aware of. From a marketing standpoint, when you see artists and certain artists stand out more, like there's a big thing that a lot of people say, oh, it's obviously not about the talent. It's not like the best music wins. To a certain extent, I actually do agree with that. It's not about whose music is the best. It's about whose music gets seen the most. So again, we'll use Drake as the example. When Drake first came out with his song, Best I Ever Had, it was a great song. Was it the best song of all time? No. Was it even the best song of that year? Maybe not. But he had millions of marketing dollars put behind that. Millions, millions. He was signed to Cash Money, right? He was signed to Cash Money. He was working with Lil Wayne, who at the time, Lil Wayne was the top guy in the game. So when you look at, oh, the market's so saturated, I can't make it. It's like, look, at the end of the day, it's not always gonna be who's gonna make the best music or who's gonna stand out from what you see. It's a lot about who's putting the best content out there, who's made, who, and this might sound discouraging, but who's putting out the most, right? Who's getting exposed the most? It's not just about saturation in terms of like, oh, there's so many people. It's like, it, it also has to do with just who's getting exposed the most to that audience. Does that make sense? So when it comes to what makes certain artists stand out, you you know, I know you might be thinking, well, is it their songs? Is it their sound? Is it that? Yeah, but a lot of it has to do with what they're doing behind the scenes, right? And it's not just about marketing dollars. It could also be about the work ethic. Lil Wayne is another great example. Lil Wayne is a studio rat, meaning he is in the studio all the time. Like he's, if you look at the amount of songs he releases compared to the amount of songs he's actually making, it's probably not even 1%. Like he's probably not even putting out 1% of the songs that he's actually making. So what I mean to say is that when it comes to what makes certain artists stand out, a lot of artists are doing a lot of things behind the scenes that you might not know, right? There's a lot of things you're gonna have to do behind the scenes. You're gonna have to write a lot of songs. You're gonna have to make a lot of beats and mix a lot of songs without necessarily having to put those pieces of work out, right? Even using me as an example, right? I've been able to build a six-figure income 
just this year in 2023 i know we're in 2024 but just this year i was able to build a six-figure income with my music and with my expertise and you might sit here and be like is it his youtube videos well he's got all these followers on instagram it's not that stuff it's a lot of stuff that i do behind the scenes just as an example to set up this video like it took me 30 minutes to get this whole freaking video set up moved into the room got the mic the camera the light like i'm in here doing this by myself and you also don't see the work that gets put in when it comes to advertisements that I make. When you when you see the amount of DMs that I've sent, when you see the amount of calls that I've had with artists, when you see the coaching calls, just all the, there's so much below the surface that you don't see. So when you sit there and think, I can't stand out, I can't, yeah, you could sit there and talk about how much you're not gonna stand out, which literally isn't gonna help you. Or you could say, you know what? I have the potential to shine through just like every other artist because Every other artist that shines through, it's very rare that someone comes through and, and just has something, just has this thing that's inexplainable. Like I think I, I think we all have some kind of a gift that's unexplainable, but I, I, would, I would have to argue a lot of artists, probably 99% of artists that end up making it, they're not like, oh, they have this special thing. They're just human beings that decided to do the right actions and take the right actions, work hard and work smart to shine through. So you sitting there and thinking about how hard it is to shine through isn't gonna help you shine through. The more important thing for you to do is, why don't I just do the things and realize that most of the work that needs to happen is gonna happen behind the scenes. And then the final thing that you can do to stand out as a songwriter is produce your own music, right? Imagine if you're writing lyrics. Right now you write lyrics, maybe you sing, maybe you record vocals at home, that's awesome. But what about producing the instrumentals? What about mixing, mastering, right? You might be thinking, well, that takes way too long. I've already tried to do it on YouTube. I don't know how to do it. It takes too much time. I'd rather just focus on this. But then you go and you start spending tons of money with art, with producers and mixing and mastering and all that stuff. Honestly, producing your own music is not that hard. And I'm not just saying it because I do have a mentorship academy. I'm saying it because I went through it. For the first seven years of my career, I was a songwriter only. I was a rapper. And then I decided to start making my own music. It took me a really long time to learn it on YouTube. It took me about four years. And even then I think I'm giving YouTube too much credit. And I figured it out now, six, seven years later, since that point that I decided to produce, I make my own instrumentals, record vocals here at home, mix and master like a pro. And I teach my clients how to do the same thing. And all, they only spend about 30 minutes to an hour a day. And I've got tons of client results. So. If that's something you're interested in, and again, imagine, imagine the world, imagine what your life would be like if you could do everything, everything from home. You'd never have to go buy beats. You'd never have to pay for instrumentals. You'd never have to go pay for studio time. You'd never pay for mixing, mastering. You'd never have to wait for your songs to come back. What kind of a life would that be? You're talking about standing out in the music industry. Imagine how easy it would be for you to stand out if you could have that kind of creative control and imagine how many songs you could put out. Imagine the potential revenue streams if you could produce. You could produce for other artists. You could sell beats if you wanted. You could start selling your own music and because you own the full rights to it, it's gonna be a lot easier. You could crank out songs faster. You could put more songs out there. Remember we talked about exposure and getting the exposure? Get Getting more songs out there is gonna help you with the exposure. So producing your own music, if you're not already doing it, it's the number one thing that you could do to stand out. And if you wanna do that, click the link in the description below, go watch the free training where I literally show you step-by-step step how to produce your own music in 90 days and how tons of my clients are able to get those same results, okay? So thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed, hope you stand out in the music industry and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.